I'm seeing some bats up at the top left. I don't think they're gonna come and screw with me though. So this is nice. Slowly making our way through it. Uh, this has been- oh god. Oh! Oh, I just jinxed myself! I shouldn't have done that! Okay, this is- oh, 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 what do I do? No, you little jerks! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Mechanic Miner. Today, we're gonna hopefully be able to take on the first boss, the Scorpion Bastard, and actually take him down this time. Now, I actually went to the comments quite a bit uh, to see what you guys suggested I should do with this, whatever this thing is. And a lot of you said, first of all, upgrade the engine, which I already did, and put two saws on the front. It makes sense. More saws, more damage. So yeah, we're definitely going to be doing that. And hopefully this is going to be enough to take down this guy because, uh, yeah, I didn't expect the first boss to be so difficult. But you know what? It's a giant scorpion. Of course it's going to be difficult. So hopefully those aren't too close together. Uh, I also added a lot of defense, as you can see. Uh, these iron walls don't last long enough at all. So I just threw a bunch on the front and we'll probably lose a lot of that by the time we finish this guy anyways. Okay, so we're gonna need some more belts. So we built a few of those. Let's, uh, I guess we could just go down like this right to the front. I love how easy the building is in this game. And then connect to the two pivot points and let's just make sure it works. Oh, don't want to delete that. There we go. Okay, and there we go. That looks like it's gonna do a hell of a lot more damage. So yeah, I definitely think the uh, weapon or the weapon the engine upgrade was very very important and those two saws now that they're at the exact same uh, distance We should be able to hit them with that and do a lot of damage So I actually came back here because I needed a bunch of resources. Oh my god. My ground clearance is uh, Something I'm gonna have to work on. This is definitely not uh, a very good vehicle, I'll be totally honest, but it's, it's it's like a big old fortress, you know? It does its job, it's a little rough around the edges, but we should be able to take down the first boss with this thing. And look how fast it is! Now that it's actually weighted down with all this iron as well, I can actually keep the speed up. Now, was it that one? Uh, again, it's been a while since I last did this. Oh, God. I think it was one further, wasn't it? M maybe I'm totally crazy, but let's keep going here. No, because then we had the wormhole one, so I'm not gonna touch that guy yet. We still have to defeat the scorpion inside here. Okay, is this it? I believe... Oh, this might not be it. There's so many corridors in this damn, uh, zone, it's, it's kind of overwhelming, but... Maybe it's down here? No, this is another dead end, so we got lots of different animals here. Lots of different evil animals that I don't want to screw with, so let's go... Let's go up. Oh my god! What just happened? Oh, we're, we, we still got it. Alright, I finally made it down. I know this is it because of the grid lines in the background, so what we're gonna do real quick... It's hard to see my boiler. I want to make sure that thing's filled, so let's drop some in there. And we're gonna drop some of that in there. Now, aside from that, do we need anything else? I guess just in case. Not that we really need the crossbows. Again, there's gonna be some small guys, though, so I guess we will need to shoot those. Let's turn this thing on. Oh my god! Oh my god, they're already attacking! Okay, did not even expect that, but you can see, now that that one's so low as well, we should be able to take out as many of these uh, scorpions as we need to. So let's just go for it. There we go, and I'm just gonna grind them and hope for the best here. Oh, man. Okay, okay. It's actually pushing me. It's pushing me. I got it! Oh, that was a huge upgrade, and he's dead. Man, I can't believe it took me multiple episodes to try and kill that guy. First time we put two saws on this thing, we're totally good. I can now investigate the phenomenon, which appeared to be a vortex. Oh, I should have read that. All right, it's actually up here. I, f I forgot all the things that we miss is up on the right-hand corner, which is very useful, by the way. I can now investigate the phenomenon, which appeared to be a vortex of highly unstable aether flux. I went about constructing a makeshift machine, which in theory, at least, should be able to stabilize it. So it looks like we need, um... Well, it looks like it's just an engine, isn't it? Oh, no, that's definitely something new on the right-hand side. So we have to get whatever that blue thing is. Is it in my blueprints here? Or, I'm sorry, not my blueprints, my tech. It is not in the tech, unfortunately. So I gotta figure out how to do this. All right, let's just go over to it to see what's up. And can I actually, like, grab it? No. It's uh, definitely interesting, though. Let's go see if there's anything more in this cave that we can get. Nope, doesn't really look like it, unfortunately. I might be able to utilize those bones. Flux Vortex Strength. So we gotta figure out how to do this. This looks interesting. Maybe there's something new in here. Oh, wait, actually, 
Flux Antenna! That's new, I think. Maybe I didn't unlock it before. Captures Flux Energy when moving in phase with underlying Aether. Can you say that in English, please? All right, well, we know what we need now, so it looks like we need to attach that to an engine and then maybe just run through whatever this thing is up here? I don't know. All right, so after a lot of troubleshooting, I think I might finally understand this. So what we have to do is weld this thing on. So I guess I'm just gonna put this up here. Yes, we can do that right there. We can make some scaffolding. That should be more than high enough. Now what we have to do is build the flux antenna on its own, and then somehow there's supposed to be a way to weld this to it. So if we bring this over here, and oh, actually we can do it just like that. So, oh, did that work? Okay, so yes, we welded it to that now. So now all we need to do is put a belt between these two points, and if my idea is correct, I think I did that a little bit wrong there. There we go, we'll just delete that. I think it's connected and ready to go. Now, I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen here, so let's just uh, prepare. You know, you, you, when you're dealing with black holes, you really don't know what's gonna happen, so I actually built its own system up here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I was really trying to troubleshoot this to figure out how to do it. There we go! Okay, so, is it working? I mean, it's definitely doing something, but uh, how do I get the flux vortex strength to go down? Like, this is very confusing because it looks like it's working, but, uh, well, clearly it's doing something. As you can see, when I get close to it, it goes absolutely crazy. Is this not fast enough? Is this not big enough? What do I gotta do to get the strength down? All right, let's try it with a better engine here. So we're gonna lift this up. I'm assuming the faster engine might be able to do something here. Now, I'm assuming we need scaffolding as well, so I built a little bit of that, or coupling as it's called. Uh, so, oh, is it not able to... What's going on here? Okay, so it looks like it has to be directly on wood. So we're, oh God, now I just dropped that whole thing down. All right, that's all right. We'll be able to remake that, no big deal. Let's put the scaffolding in first though, and now, yes, indeed it works. So for some reason, didn't know this, but you have to connect uh, this coupling to wood and not iron, interesting. All right, but back to the task at hand. We just gotta put this belt up here. This is definitely how to do it. Uh, it's just really weird that it w didn't work that last time, so I'm assuming maybe it's the speed. That's why we're doing this, by the way. So we're just gonna build another antenna right here. And maybe, maybe the size has something to do with it. So we're just gonna bring this in the middle. I don't even know how I welded this on. It was really cool that it worked, though. So let's see if we can... All right, you know why? I think it was because the belt was there, so let's see again, and yes, there we go. So what do I do? All right, that's it. That's really cool that you can actually do that quite easily. So there we go, it's all connected up again. Now, is this enough power? Let's get it nice in the middle of that. I mean, oh, look at the bar! It's actually, oh God, there's things coming towards me. Okay, uh, did not <laughs> expect this. It's a good thing I'm prepared. This side's gonna be totally safe because of the saw. So I guess I just gotta watch this side. Was that just some, no, there's definitely more scorpions coming. Let's see if I even have to shoot that guy. I don't I don't wanna waste my wood shots if I don't need to. And yes, he's just gonna, oh, 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 oh. Well, he kinda gets in. I don't wanna let him damage me though. So yeah, I guess we just gotta hold out from the deadly scorpions that come in. And we're actually gonna be able to do this. This is some next level shit right here. I wonder if I make that bigger or if I add more arms, if it would go faster. I feel like this is almost too slow. But it could be a wave-based thing where you just have to hold out, and I think that's what it kind of is. And really, with, with these crossbows, I love these things. Uh, you really don't have to worry too much about it. I'm seeing some bats up at the top left. I don't think they're gonna come and screw with me, though. So this is nice. Slowly making our way through it. Uh, this has been- oh god. Oh! Oh, I just jinxed myself! I shouldn't have done that! Okay, this is- oh, 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 what do I do? No, you little jerks! I need to get back on my lever. Oh, they just broke it all! They just broke it all! What the hell?! The bats come and totally destroy my thing? You guys are jerks! You guys are total jerks! Are you i I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm gonna die! I'm dead. Wow! What do I do now? I can't do crap! Can I just have my rubble, please? I just need something. You guys are jerks. You guys are total jerks. Go away. I seriously need some of this loot here. Oh my god. Just grab it. Just grab it. Nope, I'm dead. I'm stuck. I'm trying to climb the damn ladder that's on the ground. Whoa, what the hell? I'm out. Okay, well, we got some resources. You know what? We might want to come back in and get some more because I, I need to rebuild, guys. I need to go back. 
I need to walk all the way back. This is ridiculous! All right, I'm back, and I reinforced the hell out of this thing. Now, uh, yes, as you can see, I added two layers of iron to this. We have four crossbows now. I also made these steel spikes, which are actually more expensive than I thought they would be. But I think they're going to add defenses. You know what? It might even be smart. Oh, that would be actually really cool to use this as a weapon as well. Let's throw... We'll throw three on that side. Can I flip these things around? All right, had to look at the controls, but it is indeed Z to rotate. So can we actually... Yes, we can put these on here like so. Now, my logic is... It doesn't look like I can do that final one. Not really sure why. That's all right. We'll throw a few on the roof as well. But my logic is the bit, the first thing that went down was the actual flux antenna. Now it actually could be a weapon, so we might actually be able to utilize that. And it's still obviously going fast, so that's good. Let's prepare, and this time, hopefully we have the defense and the firepower and the aim to take every one of these things out. It's not so bad with the scorpions, but, but we're prepared now for those damn bats. All right, bats have showed up. I was gonna try and pull away really, really quickly. Uh, just to try and like chase them or run away from them rather so we have more time to aim But it looks like that didn't really help now. Can we actually no we cannot hit them when they're not moving Unfortunately, so we just got to kind of wait here. They came really early this time last time We were almost done when we saw our first bat so I'm a little worried about that But hey at least now I'm prepared and I'm definitely gonna run away from them because there's just too many like like we got dive bomb last time All right, there's two for one right there at least we're leveling up. I'm still only level three. I feel like I've played so much of this game and I'm only freaking level three. So uh, yes, I guess the leveling is a big process in this game, but we're gonna hit level four here soon. I'm just watching this bat, like waiting. When's he gonna attack? Cause you know that little bastard is. But I think, oh, 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 okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, I am not, okay. Oh God, all right, we're okay. Just gotta, the bats are scaring me now because uh, we, we know the damage they can do. Back into it though. Now does it regen if I'm out of it? It doesn't look like it does. There's more bats coming though, I can see them. I wish I could zoom out further. Oh! Stabilize the flux vortex so we didn't have to go all the way down. I was still not even close to being down. Now, uh, press E to leave use mode. What am I supposed to do here? Am I done? I don't want to leave. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can, can we grab these things. Let's go up to the top here. Uh, all right, got to grab this. Can we? Oh, damn, sign. Okay, so we got that magical stuff now. All right, does this spike hurt me? Okay, no. Oh, God. Oh, th that, that does. <laughs> all right, I should probably turn that thing off. Okay, that's a little dangerous. Oh, shoot! Shoot! Shoot it! Okay, Jesus, these guys, just just let me... I, I've won! I've beaten them! Let me just get my reward here without having to worry about freaking bats. There we go. Okay, grab it! Yes! Okay, so we got 19 stored flux. What does flux do? I don't know, but obviously it's very very important I do not want to lose this stuff so let's get the hell out of here guys all right what I am gonna do because I know I can't fit through the mine with this big thing on top is we're just gonna have to disassemble this for right now it's done its job and I know how to build it now if we do need it again but uh yeah we definitely ooh, ooh, okay we definitely oh my god did I just do that I tried to delete the damn thing and I deleted my engine so I'm gonna have to rebuild that now that happens a lot in this game deleting definitely needs a little bit of work I feel like because if you have something in front of something else, you can definitely accidentally delete it. And there it goes to the ground. Oh, hey, they regen! Okay, so do I never have to do that again? Because yes, I, they slowly seem to regen over time. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't mean to do that! And I, I spin the wheel. Did you see that? That was amazing. There we go. Took that guy out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go work on that engine. I don't need it right now, though. I don't think we need the spinny things anytime soon. So let's just get back out of this cave. And let's go see what's in the next one, guys, because I'm really curious about that. My god, can you stop bouncing? All right, but now we can make the flux capacitor, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll definitely be playing with this in the next one. We could also do a flux vent. And I think that's it for the flux, but uh, that should add a lot of stuff that we can make. But maybe there's something else in here. I don't know. Uh, looks like there's no new weapons in terms of tech. I'm now level four, so I can actually get the submarine tech right now. Uh, tech cannot be researched either because your level is too low or you don't have the prerequisite. Okay, so I guess I don't have that. I, this, these blue ones are probably the ones I need. So yes, we're gonna unlock that. Mid-tier storage tech? 
Oh, why didn't I see that before? Yes, I definitely want to increase my storage, but there we go. We got some new tech done. Still three things we have to unlock, which is the airship tech, the submarine tech, and the high tier storage tech. So yeah, there's obviously a lot more stuff in this game. All right, I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. I'm not even gonna set anything up here. We actually lost one of our crossbows. I just wanna see what's inside this cave because my assumption is it's a worm. I mean, look at it. That's a wormhole if I've ever seen one. So I just wanna sneak peek at what, oh my God, are you serious? Stop it! You are not a lowrider! But yeah, like I said, I just want a sneak peek at what's down in here. The passages appear to have been created by a huge creature tunneling its way to the surface. They seem to proceed deeper into the planet, or planetoid, raising yada yada yada, what was it? Raising my hopes of using them to get closer to my ultimate goal, which is reaching the core. Now, uh, obviously we built it on the wrong side here. I think if we see anything, it's gonna be on the wrong side of our craft. So I don't want to go too crazy, but... Oh god, it's just gonna, like, charge me or something, isn't it? Come on! I'm too curious not to! There's nothing in this cave, so you, you know it's just all about the boss. Uh, there's a little bit of bone on the ground, and that is really it. Oh, the music changed. Oh god! Oh no! No! No, Tunnel Dweller! That thing is huge! Okay, well, I don't... Actually, I'm damaging it, guys. Can we kill two bosses in one fight? I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying to keep my distance here. I definitely need saws, don't I? This is not gonna be able to be, able to be done with crossbows. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna run out of room. Go! Why am I not going? Go! Okay, oh my god, this is so cool. All right, I was doing damage and I feel like I've stopped doing damage. Is it, do I have to shoot it when it's open? Oh yes, okay, so I'm getting the mechanics now. Oh my god, there goes my one crossbow. I'm, I'm hitting backwards, guys, but he's, like, shaking the ground, and it's screwing up everything. Actually, you can see my crossbows are ready to break, so I think we're gonna wait till next time for that one, because I don't want to lose my thing. I really don't want to lose all my resources. Uh, but yeah, now we know. We have saw it. Is there anything else on this map? I, I think that's the last one. I could be wrong, though. Actually, I'm probably totally wrong, aren't I? There's more to this world. Oh, never mind! That is the final zone, it seems like. And then we probably need to make an airship to go to the next world. So, yeah, I guess in the next one, guys, we're gonna be dealing with that, uh, worm. I'd have to rebuild this thing totally to fight it, I think. I mean, I'm surprised we even took it down a little bit. But obviously, we'll play with that flux, and we will get a better machine to fight the beast in the next one, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.